Hey there! Today's the seventh day before Christmas and we're going to be making some gingerbread cake. I'm going to be cutting it out in the shape of a gingerbread. I'll be using this cookie cutter to cut out the shape of the gingerbread man. And I'm going to be decorating it with a cross stitch design. I did this last year with a ugly sweater cake. All the ingredients and everything you're going to need will be in the description box down below. Now let's get started on this cake. We're going to start with an empty bowl. Add your butter to this and soften it up. And don't forget to scrape your bowl with a spatula. Add your brown sugar to this and mix it well. Scrape it once it's all combined. And then add your egg to this and combine it all well. Just blend it all together for a few minutes. And scrape your bowl. Then add in your milk to this and combine well. It will look gross once this is combined in, but don't worry, it will all come together. Add in your molasses to this. And whip it up again. Just until everything is incorporated well. Move the bowl aside and then we're going to combine our dry ingredients. So get your flour, add in your baking powder and your baking soda. And then add in all your spices. And then whisk it all together. And then pour this mixture into your wet ingredients and combine it all well. Just keep mixing it all together for a couple minutes. And then scrape your bowl so you get all that remaining flour off. And to make sure everything is well incorporated. I'm going to be using a quarter sheet pan for this. And an ice cream scoop to measure out my batter. You can just pour it all in. I just like to use an ice cream scoop. And then with an offset spatula, I'm going to smooth this out and level it all off. Then just tap it and bake it at 350 degrees for about 30 to 40 minutes. Once it's completely cooled, I'm going to get my Gingerbread Man cookie cutter. You can always use a stencil if you don't have one. And then I'm going to remove the cake from the pan, remove the parchment paper, make sure your cake is completely cooled. And then using this cookie cutter, I'm going to cut out that gingerbread man. And at this point, the cake smells absolutely delicious. Remove all that extra cake. Save this for cake pops or for snacks for later. It is a little crumbly since it's a moist cake. I'm just going to be transferring this now to a cake board. And then I've got my frosting. I'm using my cream cheese frosting dyed brown. And I'll be spreading that out. You can always use chocolate frosting if you don't mind having chocolate with your gingerbread so you don't have to use food color. And I'm just going to be doing a crumb coat. And I'm using this little scraper here to even everything out to clean the edges. I'm not too concerned how it looks since I will be adding another layer of frosting and then covering it up with more frosting later. So then just pop that in the fridge or freezer for a couple minutes. And then after I added my second layer of frosting, I'm using this cross stitch square plastic thing. I don't know the official name, sorry. I'm going to replace that on the cake and start marking my squares. This is your little guide so you know where to put your X's. And then just carefully remove this. It helps if your cake is still pretty chilled since it won't tear the frosting away from the cake. And then with that brown frosting, I put it in a piping bag with a number two tip and just started piping out these X's following the boxes. Now, if you're gonna be doing this design, I really recommend you have patience and take breaks so you don't hurt your hand. 
When I first started doing these designs, it took me about 12 hours to do the first one. And I believe this one is now my fourth design. And I've gotten faster. I think this took me four hours to pipe out. So just have patience, take breaks, and you can even do these designs. I absolutely love making the cross stitch designs. They're fun, they help me with my discipline, and they just look so cute. I don't do it exactly line for line. I like to just move around and put X's here and there. As you can see, I do different sections at a time. And then sometimes I will do line by line. But here I started with one leg and then moved to the other leg. This is just some soothing piping footage for you all to watch. And plus I'm proud of this cake so I wanted to include a little extra time in there to show you guys what I did and how I did this. And don't worry if your X's don't look perfect, as you can see here. Because <laughs> once all of it is done, it just looks amazing. And then once I'm done with the brown, I added the white gingerbread markings. I wanted to do some X's first, just to kind of create a guide for me. So these I didn't do them exactly the same size as the others, or too perfect, as you will see in a moment why. So I wanted to do sort of squiggly lines on top to make it look like thread that has gone through the stitching, kind of make it look like it's holding it together. So really the X's are just kind of guides. I honestly think this cake came out looking more like a stitched doll. So I completely love it. Here's that squiggle again so you can see how it looks. And now for the Chewbacca design. This was completely last minute, but I decided to go with Chewbacca to kind of celebrate the new Star Wars movie. Now this one, I decided to go with the brown frosting and add a little bit of black so you can kind of tell the difference of Chewbacca's accessories. I ended up just piping these two lines and then the squiggles inside. All the tips I used were number twos, except for that brown one. I used a number three for it. And then I ended up piping these white X's to mark his little details on his belt. And as you know, I did do Gingerbread Man Chewbacca cookies when I made the flan too. I made flan solo and Chewbacca cookies. So that's also on my channel if you want to see them. And then here I'm using some black frosting with the number three tip to pipe out some facial details. I did his eyes to make him look like beads, so he's got these beady eyes. And I added a little bit of catch light to them with white frosting and a number two tip. And then I did crosses to mark his nose. And then I did more X's for his mouth. I just kind of wanted to give him a cute plush look. And then again, I added some white X's for his fangs. And there's our Chewbacca cross-stitch gingerbread cake. I 
hope you enjoyed this recipe. If you did, give it a thumbs up. I do post everything I make on Instagram. You can follow me at Baker Girl Steph. I hope you've been enjoying these videos so far and we are almost to the halfway mark with them. So if you want to keep up to date with all the recipes I will be sharing, hit the subscribe button. Until next time, happy holidays and stay sweet.